Polycystic ovarian syndrome is characterized by three main objective features, that is amenorrhea. Hirsutism. Obesity. Absence of menses is called as amenorrhea. Sometimes reduced menstrual flow is also found in PCOD. Excessive hair growth on face, chest and back of woman is called as hirsutism. Increased body mass index is called as obesity. Belly fat is usually found in 50% cases. Diagnosis of PCOD is done based on reduced or absence of ovulation. Hyperandrogenism may be clinical or biochemical polycystic ovaries. Reduced or absence of ovulation can be found out by observing your menstrual cycle. Clinically presence of excessive hair on face, chest and back indicates increased androgen. Biochemically, your report reveals excessive androgen in your blood. Sonography shows multiple cysts on ovary. May be unilateral or bilateral. Why all these things happen? Number 1 There is enlarged ovaries. The capsule is thickened and pearly white in color. Multiple follicular cysts crowded around the cortex. Why this happens? It is said that abnormal regulation of androgen-forming enzyme that is P450C17, is main cause for excess production of androgens from the ovaries. Why there is abnormal regulation? It is still not known, but they say that it's multifactorial. Mainly your lifestyle, stress leads to this. Now let's see other symptoms found in PCOD, obesity, in 50% patients belly fat is found. In 70% patients menstrual abnormalities is seen. Menstrual abnormalities are seen in the form of, absence of messes, reduced amount of blood flow, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, infertility. Hirsutism, as said earlier it's excessive hair growth on face, back and chest. Acne, acne is known to everyone, I don't think it needs any explanation. Then rarely virilism is found that is male musculine traits and hair growths on females. Simply secondary sexual characteristics of male is found on females. Acanthosis nigricans, acanthosis nigricans is the specific skin change due to insulin resistance. The skin is thickened and pigmented skin looks gray-brown in color. Commonly affected sites are nape of neck, inner thighs, groin and axilla. Management depends on individual patient. Depends on the symptoms she present with maybe menstrual disorder, infertility, obesity, hirsutism or combined symptoms. Counseling is done. You are asked to change your lifestyle. Exercise is found beneficial. Natural, simple, fresh food brings some improvement. Health risks due to PCOS short-term risks are, obesity menstrual abnormalities oligomenorrhea or amenorrhea anovulation, infertility. Miscarriage abnormal lipid profile acne hirsutism alopecia glucose intolerance acanthosis nigricans long-term risks are, diabetes mellitus obesity endometrial cancer ovarian cancer elevated estrogen decreased lipid hypertension cardiovascular disease sleep apnea increased chances of death. To summarize, just live a healthy lifestyle in order to save yourself from all these complications. Hope you got a brief idea about PCOS if you like my contents please subscribe and press the bell icon so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.